All we have to do is push him inside the TV. That's it. We do that one thing, and this is all over. Just push him inside? If any of you want no part in this, just leave the room. I'm not going to force you to stay. As for me, nothing can make me forgive this bastard. But before we do this, I want to hear what you think. What do you want to do, leader? Yeah. We'll end this here and now. Wait a second! Do you really understand what you're about to do? It's the exact same thing Namatame's been doing! I hate the guy too! But you really want to go that far! Is getting revenge the right thing to do? But if we don't do anything, he might... I... I don't know anymore! Are you sure about this? You really mean it? There's no other way? What about you guys? Remember, there's no need to stay if you don't want to. I'll stay. Me too. I won't be the only one to walk out on this. I'd only suffer more that way. If this is what we've decided, I'll stick with it to the end. Me too. No matter how we end it, I want to witness it. Nanako-chan. We avenged you, Nanako-chan. But I guess you wouldn't be too happy about that. You're such a kind girl. Hey, where's Teddy? Did he go home? I'm, I'm going, going back, back to my, my own world. world. It's, it's not easy to live there, there now. But it's my reality. I'm really, really thankful for everything all of you did for me. Well, goodbye. And now, a story on the serial kidnapping and murder case that shook the town of Inaba. Police have released the identity of the suspect, who was confirmed dead after escaping the hospital, as Taro Namatame. Ruling his death a suicide, the police have closed their investigation. However, police have yet to announce the cause of death for either the victims or the suspect himself. Several criminologists have raised questions over how his alleged crimes were committed. It seems that though this case has come to an official end, many of its mysteries will remain forever unsolved. Up next is our fog forecast for today. Fog is still covering the town, but it should soften somewhat this week with the coming of spring. Today and tomorrow, we'll see fairly light amounts of fog as usual. Saturation from then on is still to be determined. If you have travel plans, please be mindful of visibility conditions. It's almost time for your train. Are you ready to go? Starting tomorrow, I'll be all by myself in this house. 
it's going to be lonely. Feel free to come visit any time, okay? And say hi to your parents for me. Hey, if... If there was evil in the world that had to be dealt with, but no one would step up to see justice done, it might fall to the closest person at hand to bear the burden of punishing them, don't you think? Maybe so, huh? Well, we should get going. Your friends are probably waiting at the station. Come on. Hey. Thanks. You really are leaving us. You know, it was over too quick. It's going to get boring without you around, Senpai. You will visit. Won't you? <sighs> we'll come immediately if anything happens on your end. Be sure to take good care of yourself. Take care. Keep in touch, okay? I'll reserve a room for you at the Amagi Inn the next time you come. Well, I'll see ya. You really helped us out with lots of stuff. Thanks, partner. have to do is push him inside the TV. That's it. We do that one thing, and this is all over. Just push him inside? If any of you want no part in this, just leave the room. I'm not gonna force you to stay. As for me, nothing could make me forgive this bastard. But before we do this, I want to hear what you think. What do you want to do? leader. We don't have time to wait. If we don't do this now, the cops will come back. What are you trying to say? Something we don't know. What don't we know? But we just heard the guy's true feelings on TV. What didn't you understand? Well, what is it? I already told you, there's no time to waste! Are you even getting at something here, or are you just stalling? Missing? Like what exactly? Damn it! I've heard enough of this bullshit! Give me a straight answer! Are we doing this or not? That's all I give a damn about right now! So that's your answer, huh? I didn't think we'd end up like this. I mean... I thought we were all on the same page. <sighs> How the hell can you be so half-assed about this? Are you okay with what this bastard did? Of course we're not! But can you look me in the eye and say you're okay with doing the same thing this guy did? It's just like how you feel right now, that you can't turn your back and do nothing. We're not gonna sit back and watch while our friend becomes a murderer, you moron! To kill someone because they killed someone first. I can't decide on something that's serious. But... But still, if you have it in you to be this angry for someone who was close to you, then you mustn't kill! That's something you can never take back! So we leave it to the cops? You trust them to handle it? Even if we can't trust them, from here on is no longer our battle. It's Tojima-san and his fellow officers fight to convict the suspect. Is that what you're trying to say? <gasps> I'm proud that I can protect this town with you all. That's why 
I don't want to make this terrible situation even worse by doing something like this. I want to keep going to school with you all and make more memories with my friends. I don't want one of those memories to be of us killing someone. So what if there's another crime? We can still save people like we always have. Nothing has happened yet. Then why assume that our future will be filled with misfortune? Nothing's happened yet. Our future hasn't been decided. <sighs> Let's go back to Nanako-chan's room. Oh, there they are. Nanako-chan came around. Huh? What did you just say? Nanako-chan's alive? Are you serious? It's very rare to be resuscitated after one's heart and lungs fail, but it does happen. But until I know why she collapsed in the first place, I can't say for sure how well she'll recover from here on. Still... Nanako-chan's a fighter, and she's trying desperately to stay alive. So, so this isn't a joke? You're actually telling the truth? Nanako-chan... Oh my god! I... I... <laughs> this is amazing! Miracles do happen. I'm so glad. I... I didn't know what I was gonna do! <laughs> Come on! Stop crying, you two! Wait a second, where's Teddy? I noticed he didn't come with us when we went to Namatame's room. You're right. That's weird. I, I figured he wouldn't move from Nanako-chan's side. Teddy, where did you go? I'm, I'm going, going back, back to my, my own world. world. It's, it's not, not easy to live there now, but it's, it's my reality. I'm really, really thankful for everything all of you did for me. Well, goodbye. And now, a story on the serial kidnapping and murder case that shook the town of Inaba. Defendant Taro Namatami has confessed to committing the multiple kidnappings that previously seemed irrelevant. However, he continues to flatly deny his involvement in the first two murders. Namatame also maintains his strange insistence that he, quote, placed them inside the TV to save them. With so much unknown regarding his motives and methods, Many are hoping his trial will shed some light on these mysteries. Up next is our fog forecast for today. Fog is still covering the town, but it should soften somewhat this week with the coming of spring. Today and tomorrow, we'll see fairly light amounts of fog as usual. Saturation from then on is still to be determined. If you have travel plans, please be mindful of visibility conditions. It's almost time for your train. You ready to go? 
Too bad Nanako couldn't leave the hospital in time to say goodbye. A little more time and maybe she could have come outside. Feel free to come visit any time, okay? And say hi to your parents for me. There's nothing more I can do for this case. I might end up testifying in court, but otherwise I'll just be observing to see how things play out. I don't imagine he'll get that harsh of a sentence given the evidence, or lack thereof. Well, so it goes. Hey, mind if I ask you something? It's only been a year since you got here, but a lot's happened since then. What do you think about your time here? Are you satisfied with the things you did? The choices you made? I see. Life has a way of going places you never wanted it to. Well, we should get going. Your friends are probably waiting at the station. Come on. Hey. Thanks. You really are leaving us. You know, it was over too quick. It's going to get boring without you around, Senpai. You will visit, won't you? <sighs> we'll come immediately if anything happens on your end. Be sure to take good care of yourself. Take care... Keep in touch, okay? I'll reserve a room for you at the Amagi Inn the next time you come. Well, I'll see ya. You really helped us out with lots of stuff. Thanks, partner. It's snowing. No wonder it's chilly. Ugh, it's freezing out here. Maybe this will help clear my head and get my deductive muscles flexing. Hey, is it snowing? Too bad the fog's so thick. The snow just gets lost in it. What's the matter? It looks like our only option is to stay patient and continue our investigation. But regardless, the fact remains that Namatame has committed his crimes, and he has already been arrested. So, no matter what we do, the case might be over now? 
though the truth will be forever lost in darkness. Well, for us, it's more like... It's lost in the fog. I'm going back to my own world. It's not easy to live there now, but it's my reality. I'm really, really thankful for everything all of you did for me. Well, goodbye. Now, a follow-up report on the serial kidnapping and murder case that shook Inaba last year. Defendant Taro Namatame has confessed to committing the multiple kidnappings that previously seemed irrelevant. However, he continues to flatly deny his involvement in the first two murders. With so much unknown regarding his motives and methods, many are hoping his trial will shed some light on these mysteries. Up next is our fog forecast for today. Fog is still covering the town, but it should soften somewhat this week with the coming of spring. Today and tomorrow, we'll see fairly light amounts of fog as usual. Saturation from then on is still to be determined. If you have travel plans, please be mindful of visibility conditions. It's almost time for your train. You ready to go? Too bad Nanako couldn't leave the hospital in time to say goodbye. A little more time and maybe she could have come outside. Feel free to come visit any time, okay? And say hi to your parents for me. <laughs> There's no doubt he's the one who put Nanako through all this. But the more I interrogate him, the more I start to question myself. Did Namatame really murder two people? Well, we'll see what comes out in our investigation. In any case, there haven't been any more bizarre incidents lately. Here's hoping Inaba goes back to its usual quiet self and stays that way. Well, we should get going. Your friends are probably waiting at the station. Come on. It's over too quick. It's going to get boring without you around, Senpai. You will visit, won't you? <sighs> we'll come immediately if anything happens on your end. Be sure to take good care of yourself. Take care. Keep in touch, okay? I'll reserve a room for you at the Amagi Inn the next time you come. Well, I'll see ya. You really helped us out with lots of stuff. Thanks, partner. 